Hey, what's up, creators, and welcome back to the survival course. As part of today's video, we're going to be showing you how we can set up our animations for idling, walking, and running with our pickaxe. This is going to be something which is really exciting. This is the foundation of our weapon. In the previous video, we took a look at how we can actually attach the weapon to our arms. Now it's all about the animations. Let's hop into Unreal Engine 5 and get this started. So the first thing that I wanted to say is if we go ahead and press play, what you should all have by now is something which looks very similar to this. We have the pickaxe and we can walk around left, right, backwards, forwards, etc. And the pickaxe looks pretty good. If you weren't able to position the pickaxe exactly the same as I did in the last video, what I do have for you is if you take the socket and all of the relative location, rotation and scale information that I have here, yours is going to look great exactly as mine does. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to approach the next steps. So in terms of the next steps then for our project, what we need to do is essentially blend between three different animations depending on the speed of the character. That's gonna be idle, walk, and run. And we're essentially going to have a variable for speed and depending on the value of that speed, it just changes between the three animations, but blends them. And we're gonna be doing this using what's called an animation blend space. To create one, let's hop into Unreal Engine 5 and do that. To create this animation blend space, what I want you to do is go back to your survival course and animations folder. Inside of here, we're gonna right click and add a animation blend space 1D. Then we're gonna be choosing the skeleton we've been working with, which is SK underscore mannequin underscore arms underscore skeleton. Then we're gonna give this the name BS underscore locomotion. Locomotion just being the movement for this character. Double click on this to open it up. This is our blend space editor. We have the viewport so we can preview the animation. But then what we also have is down here we have a grid. And on this grid, we can plot animations depending on a variable. Right now it goes from zero to 100 and there's no variable here. So what we're gonna do is in the asset details in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna set the maximum axis value to 600 because that's currently our max walk speed. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later on showing you exactly where we got that speed value from. And then we're gonna set the horizontal axis name to speed. And now that we've done this, we can essentially just go between zero speed and 600 speed and plot animations along the way. To do this, let's start off by taking our pickaxe idle and we're going to set this to zero speed because we want it to idle when he's not moving. Then we want it to start walking once it gets up to about 50 speed. Then lastly, we want it to run once it gets up to 300 speed. And what we have now is essentially a blend of animations. We can test this by holding down control and then moving the mouse across those different points there. And with that, you can see it's going to blend really well and eventually it's going to start running. Now, if you're seeing some glitching like I am right here, this is just a bug in Unreal Engine 5.0.3. You will not see this in the viewport. Once we've made this blend space, what we wanna do is just add in a run loop animation just at the end for good measure there. Then go ahead and press save. And then once you've saved this, then what we're gonna do is minimize it. Once we've created this, we're now at a point where we're ready to create what's called an animation blueprint. An animation blueprint is just going to tell the engine what animation to play depending on different states or variables within the character. Because right now this blend space is gonna do nothing. There's no value for speed. This is just a blend. The animation blueprint is going to control all of this. So let's go ahead and set this up. So back inside of Unreal Engine, in our survival course folder, what I want you to do is right click, go to animation and create an animation blueprint. Again, choose the skeleton we're working with, which is SK underscore mannequin and press create. 
we're going to call this animbp underscore and then we're going to give this the name character and then double click on this to open it up. Now we're going to get very familiar with this animation blueprint editor as we start using it. But the main thing that we want to do right now is essentially create what's called a state machine, which just tells the engine when to play different animations. Our blend space is just now a single animation. So to add this state machine within your anim graph, I want you to right click and inside of here, search for add new state machine. We're then going to find our state machine under animation graph here, and we're going to right click on this and rename it. And we're just going to call it survival states. Then from the animation pose, the little icon here of the human, we're going to drag out and put that into the result for our output pass. Now we can double click on this survival states and we can start plotting out those animations. So from the entry, we're going to add in a new state and we're simply just going to have a state for our locomotion. Just one state for now. We can double click on this to tell it which animation to play in that state. For me, that is my blend space that I just created. So find our BS underscore locomotion in your asset browser in the bottom right hand corner. Drag and drop this in. Then with our speed, this is where we now need to get a variable for the speed so it knows how to blend those animations. And that's where blueprints come in. So now we need a variable for our speed. And this is where the fun stuff is going to begin. So to set up our variable for our speed, we essentially need to communicate with that first person character blueprint that I showed you in the last video. Say, hey, what's your current velocity? Then we're going to convert that to speed and we're just going to hook it up into this. And then we're ready to go. That's it. So let's make that happen. So inside of our animation blueprint, I want you to go to your event graph. You can access your event graph by going to the tab or just double clicking on the event graph here. Now, what we're going to be doing is from event blueprint update animation, we're going to be saying to Unreal Engine, hey, I want to communicate with the character and I want to get a value. To communicate to this character, we're going to drag out from event blueprint update animation and we're going to search for cast to first person character. So cast to BP underscore first person character. Object wildcard, we're just going to put in get player character. Now as first person character, this is how we can now get information from this. And the information that we're interested in is velocity. So as first person character drag out from that and we're going to get the velocity. And if we scroll down, we can find it here. Just get velocity all by itself. Now with this, we can drag out from this and use the function vector length. And this is going to return us a float, which we can promote into a variable and call speed. Now, for those of you that haven't done blueprints before, that might seem a little bit confusing. I've not really done an intro to blueprints here, but I'm going to try to break down some of the code that we've just done. Event blueprint update animation is going to happen every single frame, essentially, or every time the animation is updated. Then, when it's doing that, it's saying cast to the character, which is saying, I want to speak to you. And the actor we're trying to speak to here is the player character. And what we're saying to it is, I want to speak to you and I want to get the velocity. Then we're going to say, okay, thanks for the velocity. We now need to convert this to speed or a speed variable that we can use in here. And that's what I did when I did the whole promote to variable thing. If we go ahead and press compile, we're pretty much ready to go. So now we have our blueprints in place to tell the character the speed. We can now hook that up to our blend space and see everything come together. If you missed any of this, don't be afraid to go back and see what you missed and just make sure that everything's working. That being said, let's hop back in and do that.
So to hook up that speed variable now, what we need to do is go back to our locomotion state. You can access this by going to your animation graph, survival states, and then locomotion. Then with our variable for speed in the bottom left hand corner, we can drag this, get a reference to it, and hook it up to the speed input. If we go ahead and press compile now, you can see a representation of our character. We've got our arms. If I go to my anim preview editor here, we can now test this to make sure it's working. So we've got our speed variable. And as I increase this to let's say 100, you can see it starts walking. If I set this to 200, it starts walking faster. And if I set this to 600, he's gonna start running. That being said, go ahead and press compile and save. So we've got our animation blueprint working exactly how we want to, and we've got a speed value that can go into this. What we're gonna do now is just simply go into that first person character and say, hey, use this animation blueprint, and we're gonna see everything come to life. So inside of Unreal Engine, go back to your first person folder and blueprints and open up first person character. Go to your viewport, select your first person mesh, and under animation, here where it says animation mode, we're gonna tell it to, instead of using an animation asset, use an animation blueprint. And we're gonna choose our animation blueprint that we created called animbp underscore character. If we go ahead and press compile and save now, we can see what we've got. So now if we go ahead and jump in and press play and F11 to go full screen, we can see we've got our character, he's moving, and we've got the pickaxe. And as I start increasing my speed, you are going to see there that the speed of the weapon and all of the animations are going to increase. For me though, this is looking fantastic. One thing you might run into here is you might find the blending between the different uh, animations for idle walking and running is not super smooth. And we can add a blending time to that. We can do this by again, opening up that blend space or the locomotion, double clicking on this and just changing our smoothing time to something like 0 0.3. Press save, press play. And now as we start running and we snap back, it's just going to be a little bit smoother. Again, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. What you should have now is your character and the various different animations for walking, idling, and our running. Move on to the next video to continue developing your survival game further. Also, if you'd like to have access to the complete library of survival tutorials and bonus content, be sure to check out our website. The link is in the description down below. If you'd like to network with other developers or just get a little bit of support with this, be sure to join our community Discord server. The link for that is also in the description down below. Like I said, that's it for this video though. As always, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.